Okay, I just logged on to Battlefield 2142. Um, I got the new version, or I got the full version of Fraps today, um, which allows me to take these, get into the chopper here. I just want to take Fraps out for a spin to see what type of, uh, well, I just want to see what it can do. Um, it was actually inside Battlefield 2142 that, um, while I was playing it, I had sort of, I guess, an epiphany about language learning. Specifically, I, I'd played this for a fairly long amount of time, and after I played it for so long, it occurred to me that I knew exactly what to do in specific situations. So, uh, I thought, you know, wouldn't that be cool if we could also combine that with some language learning. So if students were to play a game, combine it with some well-designed instruction on actually how to, ooh, that was close, actually how to navigate a train station, for instance, inside of Germany, uh, use specific vocabulary for that context, and create it with, sort of merge it with action wouldn't that be a really cool way to learn a language? So I'm going to land this at the moment and then get out if I don't die first. So um, I thought what I would do is try to, I got out of the helicopter just in time. Whoops, a bit incoming there. Um, so that's what the whole idea about the Digibon project is. I'm going to try to create a halfway decent computer game and uh, combine it with some uh, some in some challenges that can be tied to the culture of Germany uh, make it playable make it interesting and uh, hopefully create a language learning experience that ties in learning a language with specific contexts real world, context so that students once they get to Germany they will be able to navigate and hopefully survive like I'm surviving this um, combat situation right now so the Digibon project